Hello, this clip shows how to activate, upgrade and commission the inverter using the SolarEdge Inverter Setup application. Download the SolarEdge Setup from Google Play or iStore. For download and first time access, an internet connection is required. For an Android device, tap the Setup icon. If you don't have a monitoring account, tap Sign Up here. Fill in your personal details, company and PV system details. Log in using your SolarEdge monitoring platform credentials. Then, tap Log in. Scan the inverter barcode. Move the on, off, P switch to P and release within 5 seconds. Set app creates a Wi-Fi connection. Tap continue to begin the inverter firmware upgrade. For an iPhone device, if you don't have a monitoring account, tap Forget Your Password. Tap Return to the Login Page. Tap Click here and fill in your contact, company and PV system details. Log in using your SolarEdge monitoring platform credentials. Then tap Login. Scan the inverter barcode. Move the on, off, P switch to P and release within 5 seconds. Tap copy to store the Wi-Fi password. In the Wi-Fi settings screen, make sure Wi-Fi is on and choose the network name that corresponds to the inverter serial number. Paste the password and tap join. Setup creates a Wi-Fi connection. For a previously activated device, tap update firmware to upload the firmware. For a device installed for the first time, the firmware upload starts automatically after Wi-Fi connection is established. Installing the firmware may take few minutes. During that time, you can activate another device. When installation is completed, the device is being activated. After the inverter is successfully activated, tap Start Commissioning. From the commissioning menu, select country and language settings and follow the instructions on the screen. Next, we configure communications. From the main menu, select communication settings. The default configuration is LAN. If you are not using Ethernet for connection to the monitoring platform, select the relevant communication option. In case the device is installed with a cellular plugin, the default configuration is cellular. If multiple inverters are connected on an RS-485 bus, in the master inverter, enter the communication settings menu and select RS-4851. Then, select protocol, SolarEdge master, select slave detect. The master inverter detects the other inverters on the bus and displays all detected serial numbers. Inverters that share an RS-485 bus can be configured simultaneously from the master inverter. Next, we pair the power optimizers to the inverter. The optimizers will not start producing power until they are paired. Pairing must be done when the modules are exposed to sunlight. From the main menu, select pairing and tap start pairing. When pairing complete is displayed, the system startup process begins. Tap back to return to the commissioning menu. Verify that the connection to the monitoring platform was established successfully. Select status and verify that SOK server connected appears. The site status screen shows the status parameters of all slave inverters on the same RS-485 bus. The master inverter parameters are displayed first and then the slave inverter parameters. Three LEDs at the bottom of the inverter provide system performance indications. Now, the site is configured and producing power. 